Yeah, you're you're always guided. Some of you may come and say, well, I don't really feel connected or I don't feel like the presence of the angels or I don't see them or I don't feel something's touching me or, but something is guiding you. Something has guided you to be here, to hear what we're talking about. Something has guided you all of your life. Look at all the dangerous moments in life that you've been in, all the ups and downs you've gone through, all these moments that you were in desperation, and then all of a sudden in the last moment that you're totally desperate, someone showed up, something has happened, and you've been bailed out. So many moments, like you're driving in the middle of nowhere and your car breaks down and you're desperate. You don't know what to do. The cell phone doesn't work and somebody pulls over and comes and helps you. That's an angel. Angels don't have to have wings or look in a certain way. You have encountered at moments people that they've really impacted your life or they helped you short term, long term. And you can give it the angelic qualities like they've been an angel in your life in that moment. They're part of yourself, they are part of your higher self. It's all a part. It's all the oneness, all of it. It's all a part of the one. Even the parts that is dark, is not pleasant, or somebody ap appears to hurt you or damage you, they're parts of your own self. It's a part of the oneness. They're there, and that event happened for you to experience something that you needed to experience. It's all part of the one. And as you re realize that, the more deeper you go into it, the less you're going to live in fear. The more you start to see that everything is a part of your own self, the less you're going to be afraid of the world. I'm not saying you're going to be living recklessly and you're not going to lock up. Osho used to say, praise the Lord, but lock up your Oldsmobile. So yes, the more you become aware, aware of the existence and the being, the self, and yourself is all, that doesn't mean you're going to ride your bicycle on Venice boardwalk and park it somewhere and not lock it up. You will lock it up. Because if you don't lock it up, most probably it will, be, it will disappear very quickly. So... The realization, the recognition of everything is you doesn't mean that you are going to live recklessly or not paying attention. It's just simply realize there is no boogeyman and there is no separation and there's nothing to be afraid of because anything that is going on is your own self. So you lose your fear of it. And as you lose your fear of it, that thing loses its power over you because you're not seeing it separated. Let's say you've, even you're captured, you're kidnapped, and, and they are taking you in a bunker or somewhere, and they're going to torture you or something. I'm talking about an extreme situation. Or somehow police arrested you for nothing 
and they're taking you somewhere and you're afraid because, you know, there was a mistake or they shouldn't have arrested you. Somehow they did. But you, in that, even that moment, you're recognizing that this is your own self. So it loses its power. You're not afraid of it anymore. Because what can your left hand do to your right hand? So the more you settle into this understanding, the more the quality of your life improves. I'm not saying life is going to be easy, like in this understanding, that doesn't mean like, okay, I came to this understanding, now I get whatever I want. I'm not talking about that, or money is going to come to me very easily, or, or I, get the, I get the love of my life. No. This understanding doesn't give you a power to manipulate things. You don't acquire a technique so you can manipulate things to go your way. You're surrendering to the way. You're surrendering to what is. And you become the way. And there's no resistance to what is. It's just surrender. And that's how it improves the quality of your life. But you still wake up in the morning and you have your lower backache because you're not stretching or you have problems. You still have your aches and pains. They don't necessarily disappear because you came to this understanding. Life continues being the way it is, but the quality of your life changes because understanding has taken over and there's no way back. Light has come in, light's coming in, into the room and the darkness disappears. So fear leaves and confusion goes away surrender comes you're surrendering the the one you're surrendering to the intelligence that is running the show and there's only one intelligence that runs the show and that intelligence appears at both sides the good and the bad and as long as you live in this dimension, which is third dimension, there is going to be a battle between the dark force and the light force. Because that's a part of this dimension. But how do you rise above it? You don't want to side with the dark or with the, white, with the light because that too are a part of the yin and yang, the yin and yang sign that you've seen. But you rise above that. You rise above good and bad. How do you rise above the good and bad? Is by going beyond the mind. Because good and bad is a part of the mind. It's only the mind tells you what's good and what's bad. Existence doesn't care. Because existence equally created both. Existence doesn't give a shit. This is good or this is bad. Existence doesn't care like, okay, there was a big tsunami and hit the coast of Indonesia and Thailand and Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, and it killed 100,000 people. Existence doesn't give a shit. 